Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today, my mother and I are at the best gym in Portugal. It's called Blackout. In this video, we'll be sharing with you our experience on how to grow glutes by nine centimeters and make them rounder. So we'll be sharing our best exercises, some tips and tricks on how to improve these exercises. So if you're interested in growing your glutes, then buckle up and keep watching. Let's go. It is essential to warm up before your workouts. By doing a light cardio, we are preparing our muscles and joints for heavy lifting to avoid injuries and improve our performance. Usually we start with a five, seven minutes of light cardio just to bring our heart rate up to around 120, 135 BPM. The idea here is not to exhaust your muscles, but to lightly warm them up and prepare them. When training glutes, you need to pay more attention on your hips. Because we'll be doing such exercises as squats and deadlifts and deep squats, we'll need our hips to be not stretched out, but prepared for the lifting. First of all, we do the round movements with our hips. And to the other side. Then we go down, put our arms here, and just try to actively stretch them. Try to avoid static stretching because that could actually lead you to injure yourself and overstretch your ligaments. So before lifting, we do active stretching. And after the lifting, we're doing static stretching. This is also a very good exercise to prepare your knees and stretch your hamstrings a little bit. Don't forget about your ankles. When doing active stretching, try to think about an engine in the car or something that is like, for example, scissors, which are not moving anymore. You need to put some oil into the mechanism so it can work better. And the same we're doing with our active stretching. We're giving this liquid to, to the ligaments so we can lift better. Now let's get to the exercises. Today we'll be doing a superset, which is this standing hip extension machine, which is really cool that Blackout has. Actually, I love glute, glutes activation because it helps me to establish this connection between my mind and my muscle and engage my glutes much better during the compound movements. Especially it is helpful for women who are quad dominant, for example, I have any other issue with focusing on specific muscle groups. So the idea here is not to exhaust your muscles, but to activate them, to bring the blood flow into your muscles. Also, another thing is with the weight. So we choose weight challenging enough for us to activate the muscle, but not to exhaust the muscles completely. Otherwise, we won't be able to do the whole workout. So I'm using light to medium weight to really engage on the muscle and focus on its activation. About the form, how we do it. We hold on to the rails and we tuck our tailbone a little bit. Go lower, not, not that low, yeah. Tuck the tailbone. Contract your glutes at the beginning of the exercise and maintain this contraction throughout the movement. We do around 15 to 20 reps of hip extension, and then we'll move to another exercise. Now, without any rest, we go straight into the kickbacks without any resistance. So we start with the kickbacks by bending your front knee a little bit, leaning forward and tucking your tailbone again. Now, by contracting your glutes, we start doing the kickback. You see she's moving the leg a little bit to the back and to the side. In this way, we're engaging gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus is here, medius and minimus are here. They're connected together. We do again 15 reps, and then we switch the side. Now, since we activated our glutes and we feel the pump in them, we're moving to the main exercises. One of my favorite exercises are goblet squats. So again, Blackout has this amazing machine that allows us to do deep squats, deep goblet squats more easily. It's very easy to set up. 
But if you don't have this machine, then you can just do it with kettlebells or one dumbbell and put steppers on the side so you have larger range of motion. So since my mom is usually living in Spain, I'm gonna be explaining how to use this machine and how to do the goblet squats correctly. There are two ways that we can do goblet squats. The first one is the wide stance, so we are focusing on gluteus medius, and there is also a narrow stance. This way we're gonna be focusing on gluteus medius and minimus. So today we'll be doing the wide stance squat. We put our feet on a wide stance and with a flat back, we take the handle, going up by contracting your glutes. There you go. So we lower down. Our tailbone is again a little bit tucked in and our back is flat. Do not overarch your back because that could cause a back injury. Go down, pause. We can pause here for a few seconds and by contracting your glutes, you move yourself up. So another thing that a lot of people ask is to what degree to put your toes outwards so you can focus on your gluteus maximus. I have a little tip for you. In order to find your toe degree, we're doing a few kickbacks and noticing when do we feel the gluteus maximus the most. And then we just put this foot to the ground and then we do that with another leg. And here is your toe turn. It's super easy. Keeping my back flat. Pausing for one, two seconds, and by contracting, I move myself up. Another frequently asked question is, which weight should we use? And the rule of thumb for us is that we use the weight which is challenging enough to complete all the reps, but you shouldn't jeopardize your exercise form. Today, we're not gonna be doing simple hip thrusts. It's gonna be actually a superset, which is a killer because usually hip thrusts engage gluteus maximus, but today we'll be engaging both gluteus maximus and gluteus medius, which will ensure that our glutes would look rounder like a peach. So we start off by placing the hip thrust bencher just underneath your shoulder blades. We're putting the legs so when we're going up, it, uh, the knee forms a 90 degree angle and the toes are turned slightly outwards. The bar should be placed just below your hip bone so it's more comfortable. And we're using a pad to ensure that there is no bruising during the movement. So first exercise would be we're turning the knees outward. We start the movement by contracting your glutes and pausing for a few seconds. Pause. Knees go outward. So in this variation of hip thrust, we're engaging gluteus maximus. It's a normal variation. After completing the 15 reps, we're moving straight to another variation of hip thrust where we start with our knees outward, but on top, we're putting our knees a little bit inward. See, she's turning her knees inward. This ensures that you are engaging your gluteus medius. And gluteus medius is very important. So your, uh, your glutes are lifted. They look lifted. Again, we'll pause for a few seconds on top. Go down. So we do 15 reps of each and then we can rest for 30 seconds. Also, don't forget to look forward. And when doing this exercise, think that you're like scooping ice cream with a, with a spoon, tucking your tailbone at the top. Here, as it is a superset, we're also not using heavy weights, so we can perform all the reps. Do 
isolated exercises are also essential to grow your glutes. They don't only work on hypotrophy, but also they help you to maintain that muscle mind, maintain and build that muscle mind connection. At Blackout, we have this amazing machine where we can just do kickbacks. But you can also use a normal cable machine, which is available in every single gym. Here's a little tip. So you'll need the straps, but the thing is this Velcro can damage your leggings. So what I do is, I make sure that this strap is outwards. So we cover the Velcro and when we do the kickbacks, it's not gonna damage my activewear. Today, the isolated exercise of choice will be kickbacks and we have two variations. One which works on gluteus maximus and another one works on gluteus medius. We start with gluteus maximus. So we're attaching the cable. Hold on to the rail. If your cable machine doesn't have rails, then you can just hold on to something. Lean a little bit forward. Tuck in your tailbone to engage your glutes better. And we start the movement by moving your leg a little bit backwards and to, to the side. Make sure that your tailbone is tucked in and to bring your leg backward and to the side by contracting your gluteus maximus. Also, remember that your back should be flat without arching or anything. It's strictly flat. And do not swing your back. Don't do this, because this is not gonna be effective. We're trying to isolate our gluteus maximus. Keep your front log a little bit bent and perform the movement by contracting your gluteus maximus. I usually do 20 to 25 reps on each leg. Now let's change. Keep your core engaged at all times. Now we're moving on to the second variation targeting gluteus medius and minimus. So the way we'll be doing it is, first of all, step the front foot in front of the back foot, duh, and lean a little bit forward. The front foot is a little bit bent. Then what I do is, of the back leg, I put the toe just a little bit inwards so I engage my gluteus medius better and I start the movement by contracting it. The movement goes to the side, but just a little bit to the back. It engages gluteus medius very, very well. Try not to move your upper body. Try to keep it fixed, engaging your core. You can put your arm on your muscle so you engage with it better. Great. Now the other side. You can see my muscle moving here. This is my gluteus medius. Also one thing, 
sometimes there are videos that teach you how to reduce your hip dips. The thing is, some people have hip dips because this is the structure of their gluteus uh, muscle. The, the kickbacks that they're showing are like this. They're like this. They do not work. Don't do that. The way we do it is like this. And this exercise will make your glutes look rounder because this muscle, it kind of lifts your glutes up and holds them. So you have round and beautiful glutes. to show you five exercises however this video is getting too long so we created a second part for you if you enjoyed this video or found it useful please don't forget to smash the like button so more people can see it also if you're interested in fitness and nutrition content then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss our uploads thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye